Hi carrots, welcome back to my channel. Today we have three more of 17's envies. We have home run, don't want to cry, and fear. I'm super excited to get into these. I think after this, I'm going to watch an episode of Going 17. Um, but I know there was like a difference between like Going 17 when it first began and Going 17, I think around the start of 2019. So you guys let me know whether or not you want me to start from the beginning or start from 2019 and then ever so often go back to the beginning. Um, but super excited to get into this. The first one we're doing is Home Run. I've heard a lot about this. Uh, I think this has like an older type feel. The MV does. I feel like I've seen clips from it. However, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into Home Run. Why is S. Coops always in a car? <laughs> and why does it always crash? Yeah, it does have an older feel. Yeah, I think I've seen this clip. Come on, you know. There's so much going on in this MV. This is so fun. Okay, that was clean. I love these little like <laughs> extra features in the credits. That was so entertaining. Like, it doesn't matter what Seventeen is doing, it, doing whatever, even if it's like an MV or like a stage performance or even just like a practice or uh, something. It's always a show. They always put on the biggest show. And it's so entertaining to watch. Um, loved the different like effects uh, with this, the speed ramps and everything at the beginning. Uh, the dancing. I loved that the dance style matched the vibe of the MV. It wasn't necessarily like modern dancing 
with um, this kind of old timey feel. Um, it felt very like it felt very old timey. Um, excited to watch the dance practice of this. I felt like there were a lot of little unit sections where you really get to focus on um, members more uh, instead of having to look at thirteen people. Uh, I don't know. Is the missing diamond like part of their plot line? Seventeen has a plot line, right? Like a story um, or a concept. Uh, is that like a part of it or is that something different? Um, Y'all let me know. So really enjoyed this one. Uh, next we have Don't Want to Cry. Um, and before I get into this, one of the comments on, uh, I think it may have been the guide. Or it may have been my first MVs. I don't remember. But one of y'all said something about like, most reactors prefer darker concepts. Um, so, and 17 has more of a bright um, kind of style. But honestly, to me, 17 is so entertaining to watch and is so insanely talented that it doesn't matter to me what kind of style or vibe they give off for MVs. It's always going to be fantastic. Like, it's it's going to be phenomenal because it's 17. So even though I usually prefer darker concepts, uh, like, 17 is music is always going to appeal to me. So, um, but next we have Don't Want to Cry. Um, this was, like, the 17 song I knew but didn't know. Um, I had heard it a bunch. Or not the full song, but, like, the chorus part. Um, a lot of people had talked about it. Um, I feel like if you watch, like, must-know K-pop songs, like, this song is on there. Uh, so... But uh, excited to get into this. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into Don't Wanna Cry. I don't think there's uh, captions for this either, so. Minghao coming in with the stun.
Ooh, I'm going to say this like I say this for every single 17 MV, but I can't wait to see the dance practice for this because it was so good. Um, I don't know if I, I know how she choreographs them all, but I know some of the other members help, but they did an excellent job choreographing this one because I feel like you're always going to get different dance styles from 17. It's not going to be the same thing every time. Um, but I noticed they emphasize, emphasize hand movements a lot in this one, um, like with the chorus. And then there was that close-up shot of Dino where you he was really just like moving his hands. Um, but this one felt more, especially the beginning, like a contemporary style, um, where the last MV was more like uh, older, like jazz, kind of uh, Broadway upbeat uh, style. So it's just you're always going to get variety of dance from 17 and i applaud these guys so much for that uh, but it just blows me away how insanely talented they are as dancers because it's like every member is a strong dancer no matter who you are uh, and the vocals the vocals were so so good and the rap the rappers have such different tones that they always bring like a nice color to the song um, so it doesn't matter who's going to, whether it's Wanu or Vernon or Mingi or whoever. Um, it's just so, so good as Coops. But uh, love that this style was different from like home run style. Home runs was very upbeat and very like old timey, very like jazz um, upbeat. So, and that's, that's different from this. But I also like that there's a balance of choreo and concept like you still saw the story of what 17 was trying to portray it wasn't just as much as i would love to see them just dance i mean when we get to the dance practice that'll happen but um i also like the balance of the story they're trying to tell um so uh but yeah love this one i see why this one is talked about a lot it's really really good uh so our last mv is fear so we might be getting three very different concepts from 17 today. So, um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three very, very different concepts. Ooh, he has beautiful blonde hair. Why is it the car is always crashed? Come on, June. Ooh. I like the subtlety. Oh, 
I love this part. Oh, like I said, three very different concepts. Um, I loved, 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 loved. Uh, one, how this was shot. Two, I, I liked the in, random inserts of the like sideways um, shots. They just like, maybe to some people, you wouldn't understand because you, you want to see things um, right set up. But uh, it was just, I thought it it, it brought that, just different kind of feel to the MV. But I loved the subtlety of the choreo because that one little section that I talked about reminds me a little bit of Taman's move. It's just very, very subtle. Um, because a, a move doesn't have to be big or grand to make an impact. I mean, that like that is going to be the part of the choreo I remember the most. And all they were doing was like shoulder movements and like waving their bodies. Um, but it just kind of, it, it was kind of a, a breather um, to really draw you in until that next impact. So, so, so good. The car is always like smashed <laughs> and like smoking in all of their MVs. So I feel like the car has something to do with it. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. Y'all let me know if I'm like, on the right, like in the right direction. Um, I think one of the next ones I want to do as far as MVs is um, hit, hit I've heard a lot about. And then there was another one, Ready to Love. I need to watch Ready to Love as well. Um, plus there's other really famous 17 songs that I need to get to. Um, but uh, yeah, super, super excited to get in the choreo. I think after going 17, I'm going to watch one of their dance practices because I have to. I'm addicted to how they dance. Um, so, uh, but with that being said, be on the lookout for my next 17 reaction. I uh, hope you guys <laughs> are enjoying this so far. Uh, really, really excited to see more of 17's talent. Oh my goodness. Sun Quan, the vocals in this, in all three of these were insane insane he's such a talented vocalist i meant to say that earlier but um they're just they're all so insanely talented i can't i can't get over it can't stress it enough so um i actually mentioned this in my com in one of my comments uh, even before i started like standing 17 and really didn't know that much about them i pretty much only knew china line um and joshua and dk um i watched a couple of their in year end of the year performances and i was like oh my gosh I miss 17. <laughs> Anytime they weren't in a music show, in an end of the year music show or were like towards the end, I would just be like, man, watching these makes me miss 17. And like, I wasn't even standing them yet. So uh, I, I'm addicted to these guys. They just, the performance aspect is out of this world. Absolutely out of this world. So, um, but with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye, Garrett.